the newly finished billet is now ground completely flat lengthwise before it is cut into smaller sections to restack and reforge weld. The end of the billet is also removed by a cutoff wheel because the forge weld is never quite perfect at the very end and it makes it easier to stack. This leaves a much cleaner end to work with. Once your bar has been cut into pieces, my bar, for instance, was 8 inches long, so I cut it into 4 pieces, each 2 inches long, and polished the uh, faces of them. These pieces, each with 9 layers in them, will stack together to make 36 layers of Damascus in this next billet. The pieces are then stacked in a vise and welded as a uh, handle is also welded on for easy, easier handling while in the forge. Hi, so the chunks have been welded together and put on a handle, as you can see. And now, to begin heating to red hot before, as always, fluxing the steel. The steel is placed into the fire the heating. The piece is ready for the final weld, which is simply doubling the layers this time, equaling 72 total layers. After this weld, I will add a pattern and forge out the final shape for making what will ultimately be a uh, Tanto Ninja sword. <laughs> Here the billet is ready to be, uh, become the final shape the tanto. I've just stretched 76 layers of steel out to its uh, raw form shape and forging the tanto will begin tomorrow.